Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. <laughs> and I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction long term. Now, you know, take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, at the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. Um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. How are you? How are you that, Very good. It's crazy. I'm talking to a robot uh, from San Jose, probably San from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon that's Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you well, live in Alameda Valley or do you live in the Santa yeah. Teresa area? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos. Oh, wonderful. That's yeah. A nice area. Where do you live? There's beautiful hiking out here out there. There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah. This yes. is. This is awesome. That's where they train us, that's where we get our builds, and that's where we work with a wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I try harder to do every day, and I hope that you will help us become that. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. You as well. That's Appreciate it. The rise of AI in robotics has brought significant advancements in technology, changing how we work, communicate, and live. As Christians, these developments present both challenges and opportunities, raising questions about ethics, faith, and how we interact with these new technologies. Here are some key aspects to consider. 1. Ethical concerns and human dignity. Value of human life. AI robots are increasingly used in roles traditionally filled by humans, such as customer service, caregiving, and even companionship. As Christians, we believe that human beings are created in the image of God, see Genesis 1:27, possessing unique value and purpose. 
the use of AI in roles requiring empathy and compassion can challenge our understanding of human relationships as it may reduce person-to-person -person interaction. Moral decisions by machines, AI can be programmed to make decisions, but it lacks a moral compass informed by faith and love for others. This presents a challenge when AI is used in areas requiring ethical judgment, such as criminal justice, healthcare, or military applications. As Christians, we must advocate for ethical AI development that respects human dignity and life, promoting values aligned with our faith. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 instructs us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. We should seek God's wisdom over machine-led decision-making, ensuring our choices are guided by biblical principles. 2. Impact on work and economy Job displacement As AI and robots take on more roles in various industries, many jobs may become obsolete. This shift raises concerns about economic stability and the dignity of work. For Christians, work is more than just a means of income. It's a way to serve others and fulfill God's calling. See Colossians 3, 20, 24. As jobs evolve, the church and Christian communities may need to support those affected, encouraging education and skills that align with future job markets. Redefining purpose and service, AI can assist with repetitive and mundane tasks potentially freeing us to focus on more meaningful work. This could be an opportunity to pursue vocations that align with our purpose and calling. However, it also challenges us to discern how we define purpose beyond work, emphasizing service, community, and spiritual growth. 3. Privacy and Surveillance AI and data collection AI systems rely on vast amounts of data raising concerns about privacy and surveillance. As Christians, we value integrity and transparency, and we should be vigilant about how our personal data is used. Proverbs 4.23 advises, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. We should be cautious about what we expose ourselves to and protect our personal information, ensuring it aligns with integrity and ethical standards. The Bible reminds us to respect the privacy and dignity of others, and we should advocate for fair and ethical practices in AI data collection and usage. Freedom of thought. AI's ability to influence information through social media algorithms or targeted advertisements can shape opinions and decisions. This challenges our freedom of thought, which is essential for making faith-based choices. Christians should approach information critically, being cautious of AI-driven content that might sway us away from biblical truths. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is His good, pleasing and perfect will. This calls us to discern God's truth, resisting external influences that might divert us from His will. 4. Challenges to Human Relationships Replacing human interaction with AI becoming more integrated into our daily lives, there's a come to come relationships could become more virtual than personal. As Christians, we are called to live in community, supporting and encouraging one another. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. AI cannot replace the genuine connection and fellowship we experience through face-to-face -face interactions. Role of technology in ministry. While AA offers tools for spreading the gospel, such as automated responses or enhanced communication, it should complement not replace personal ministry. As sharing God's love and message is deeply relational, requiring empathy, compassion, and spiritual discernment that AI lacks. Lest Thessalonians 5.11 reminds us, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. While technology can aid in ministry, personal encouragement and connection are crucial for genuine spiritual support and growth. 5. Opportunities for the Gospel Using AI for evangelism, Matthew 28, 19, 20 commands us, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, 
baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. AI offers unique tools to fulfill the Great Commission by reaching a wider audience, but we must ensure that our message remains authentic. AI and technology offer unprecedented opportunities to share the gospel with a global audience. AI can help create content, answer questions, and reach people who might not have access to traditional church settings. Christians can harness these tools to spread the message of Jesus effectively, responsibly, and compassionately. Encouraging innovation in faith-based settings, AI can aid in areas like church management, charitable work, and educational resources, allowing ministries to operate more efficiently. Christian organizations can leverage AI for translation, content creation, and access to resources, enabling broader outreach and engagement with diverse communities. Moving forward as Christians in an AI-driven world. As we embrace AI, we are called to approach it with discernment, wisdom, and alignment with our Christian values. Here are additional guiding scriptures. Stay informed and engaged. Understand AI's impact and seek ways to contribute positively, advocating for ethical practices that reflect Christian values. Promote human-centric AI, support AI development that uplifts humanity, prioritizing compassion, ethical decision-making, and respect for life. Emphasize community and fellowship. As AI enhances communication, it's crucial to maintain personal connections and prioritize face-to-face -face fellowship within the church and our communities. Utilizing AI responsibly in ministry, Ephesians 5, 15, 16 urges us See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. We should use AI responsibly, making the most of every opportunity to share the gospel and bring hope to others in an increasingly digital world. AI has the potential to bring about positive changes, but it requires careful stewardship. As Christians, we should engage with AI in a way that aligns with our faith prioritizes human dignity and emphasizes our call to love, serve, and share the gospel.